Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I am in my swimsuit and beachy gear because in today's video, I am finally going to be showing you guys how I built my little pool area. So yeah, I knew I was going to do this build for a while, but um, I finally got around to doing it and I decided to locate it really close to my shopping district because I wanted the community pool to sort of be in like this like plaza area if that makes sense. So yeah, and I will have all the codes in the description, but first I am laying out these pool tiles to kind of cover where the pool is going to go and I think I did this like a 10 by 11 area but I, I don't really remember. I think it was like something like that, but you guys obviously can just do like a giant rectangle and you know, just do whatever layout fits your island. And then after that, I used um, another custom code. Uh, you guys can actually waterscape your pool if you want, but I really liked this clear looking water that I used, which I will also have in the description. And as you can see, I just went ahead and filled it in. Okay, so now that we're done, it's time to decorate. So first I started by using this item called pool, but it obviously is more like, it looks more like a little hot tub. And I just put it on the corner there because I thought it looked good, like a little entrance area into the pool. Or you can think of it more as a hot tub, depending on how you see it. Um, and then I started uh, placing items. So I used this beach ball um, to place on the pool and then during this part I kind of expanded my pool tiles to protrude out a little bit just so there was a little area for like the beach chairs and the beach towels and just like more of like a little area to put your things um, or lay around the pool if that makes sense. And now I'm putting the beach chairs, so I just used these pink beach chairs and you'll see that I'm moving them around and rotating them to fit this little area by the pool. And then I also placed some beach towels down, customized in the shell design, and I put them right next to the beach chairs and you'll see later that I kind of spread them out more so that there's more room to lay down. And then here I'm just taking this shell speaker and I moved it around to the corner of my pool just to have some like cute pool music and then I decided on choosing a song so I'm pretty sure I ended up going with KK Island. And now I am placing another beach ball just to add more decoration. And now I am just kind of uh, making this pink sand path lead all the way up to the pool from my shopping district. Um, you guys don't have to watch this part if you don't want to. I just wanted to connect the path so that it would be more like put together and more make it look more like it's part of the plaza area. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, it was time to decorate more. So I placed down this elephant slide in this cute purple and white design. I was gonna do the pink slide, but I just decided on 
this uh, coloring instead and it's just a cute little water slide to add to the pool. And then I placed these two flamingos in different pink shades as kind of part of the pool entrance just because I thought it looked cute and thought it needed like a proper entrance, but you guys can also use like a shell arch or something like that. That'd be cute too. And then I also placed this frozen treat set over there on the little pink ice table just so I there's like a little area to eat and get drinks. And then here you'll see that I am planting some coconut trees next to the pool just to make it look more put together and tropical. Okay, so now I am going ahead and I'm putting this like little festival umbrella thing right in between of the beach chairs just so there's like a little area with shade. I think eventually I'm gonna fill it up with more of these and more chairs because I think it looks really cute and it's like a cute little area for your villagers to sunbathe or just like relax. And then I placed these little festival lamps in different colors on the edges of the pool. I think it'll look really pretty at night um, when they light up and stuff. And then I went and redeemed a lifeguard chair because obviously you can't have a pool without a lifeguard chair. I mean, knowing my villagers, they'll probably come to the pool knowing they can't swim and drown themselves. if there isn't like some kind of aid. You, you know how villagers can be. We, we, wanna, we wanna take all the safety precautions that we can. So now I'm just rearranging the chairs so that there's more room to spread out and actually be able to lay on them because I want people to actually be able to come and lay on these chairs and take cute pictures just because I think this is a really cute um, photo spot on my island. And now that I'm done, I get to just relax and enjoy my new little pool area. So yeah, this is the overall look. Obviously, there's a lot more I could have added. Like, I, if you guys want more suggestions on what to add, I would advise... I think I'm going to end up adding pearls to make it look like there's bubbles in the pool. And also, I will probably add fencing eventually. I just didn't want to fence everything in quite yet. But I definitely recommend fencing because I do have a pool at my apartment and it is a gated pool and I feel like most pools are like gated or fenced in somehow so I'm definitely probably gonna fence it in at one at some point or another but this is just like my basic layout so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this and um, thank you so much for watching again thank you all so much for supporting me for commenting and for giving me feedback. I really appreciate it. I hope that wherever you are, you guys are having an amazing day or an amazing night. And if you just stumbled upon my channel or upon my video and you enjoy my content, definitely consider liking and subscribing because it helps my channel out a lot. And if you want to see when I upload next, you can turn on your post notifications. I upload on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So I do upload three times a week and I try to get good content out there consistently. Anyways, again, thank you guys so much for your support, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!